everyone, I'm Aria and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a little redecorate of Savannah's house from my Parenthood LP. And if you don't watch that, you don't really need to know what's going on there to watch this video. It's basically just a house remodel, just to fit my Sims personality a little bit more than it does right now. Because the stock house from The Sims 4 is definitely a very beautiful house and I feel like it's very well decorated. But it's just not something that my, my Sim personally would probably live in. Just because she is definitely her own person. She's very spunky. She's very... She's a party girl. And she likes pink. And she she likes pretty vibrant colors. And the house that was originally here, as you can see, was very just like neutral and dark. And I don't like dark. I'm also obsessed with these custom content lights. They're a dollar. Well, they're one simoleon in-game. And they're just so bright. And I... They literally have saved my life one million times. I would link them to you guys if I could find them, but I can't. I pretty much just have this file saved to like different parts of my computer, so if I ever lost my mods folder for any reason, I would have it because I cannot live without this light. But for the kitchen, it is a white and black kitchen. I went with a lot of like dark and white colors for different themes of the house in different rooms. like. In a little while you'll see in her bedroom it's like pink but it's also black and gray and blue so I did a lot of mixed themes in the rest of the house with little pops of other colors like this flower that I'm putting down right now is orange and pretty much nothing else in the house is orange so I want to do like little pops of color so I feel like that's what Savannah would do I didn't really mean for this to be like a complete voiceover, like I was just going to introduce it and just kind of move on, but I'm enjoying talking so I'm going to keep doing it. So for the living room, this space right here is just like not big enough for the kind of living room that I usually go to. So I was going to put a TV right there, but I felt like it was very awkward placement and not very good, so I just ended up switching everything up. And I still don't like love it, but I think it was the best I could do with what I had. And I still like it a lot better than what I had before, and I feel like it turned out really, really well. So we needed to add some stuff for the kitty, Layla. Love my Layla. Layla is a Savannah. I thought that was just like too funny to pass up, like Savannah has Savannah, but then I couldn't name the Savannah Savannah because, you know, Savannah! <laughs> that would have been like too weird, but that's not the point. So now we're moving on to the bathroom, I believe, which I do- oh, never mind, we're doing the bedroom. Thought we were doing the bathroom, it's whatever. So. Here's her bedroom. I almost said bathroom again, but here's her bedroom. It's really cute. It's got a lot of pink, but also like dark. I said that before earlier, I think. And then I went to the living room and realized that I forgot to put curtains in because curtains are my new obsession. I feel like they just tie rooms together so well and just make them look less empty most of the time. So above her bed, I was very struggling to figure out which of these curtains I wanted to use. I knew that I wanted to use those curtains and I ended up using those blue ones and they end up matching the chair that I use for her vanity, which is really nice and really cute. So you can see that right here. See? They match. I felt like that was really cute and like really clever. So for her vanity, it's a bunch of like makeup clutter items that I have for like custom content, but it's also like a coke bottle, like a bag of chips, Perrier bottle, all that stuff. Cause like I said earlier, Savannah, she's a party girl, she doesn't really care that much. And I felt like this room and her vanity especially really, really captures that. So for this little cat sculpture, I wanted to find like a savannah one, but they didn't actually have one, which I was kind of upset about, but I felt like, I think it's like an Egyptian cat that's actually on her vanity. It looks enough like a savannah for me to just be like, oh, it's a savannah. We're gonna pretend, but it's a savannah. So here's me adding more curtains, because like I said, curtains are my new thing. I'm really obsessed with curtains. So for her little, what's that called, a little, her little dresser, like the black one that's right beside her bed, I end up putting that one like catty corner to, yeah, right there. I ended up putting it like that and then she couldn't get into the room in the actual let's play so I had to move it over, which was upsetting to me because I liked it like that, but it was fine. 
So now we're adding a cute little rug and I can't have empty spaces in my homes anymore. That's how I've become a semi-okay decorator because I recognize when something is empty and realize that it needs to not be empty. <laughs> so for her bathroom we did a blue theme which Savannah also looks really good in blue. Savannah looks really good in like orange and blues even though she doesn't wear a lot of them. But eventually I will redress her and everything and put her in these colors that look really good on her. So I was very unsure what to do with that empty space right there so I just put a little cat like sticker there. I don't love that but I didn't think anything else even kind of went there so I just left it and I'm choosing not to think about it even though stuff like that drives me up a wall. <laughs> I tend to get very annoyed about stuff like this. So for the kids room, I feel like this is the only room that Savannah actually redid once her sister moved in because, you know, we needed a toddler bed, we needed room for her kids. I felt like this probably used to be like Savannah's office or something and that's why the table that we're going to put in her room in a minute seemed kind of out of place because I really she needed a desk, which is what we're doing right here, because she's actually in the social media career. I don't think she's very involved in it though, like she's just one of those people who has a lot of followers and can do whatever she wants because she gets money from like ads and stuff but isn't very consistent with her posting. I feel like she's that kind of person and there's nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that at all. Do your thing boo. I love those pictures. I love pretty much everything that came with like that vintage stuff pack that came out. I think it's called like vintage glamour stuff. I love it so much. I love the vanities. I love all of the closing items, I use them constantly. So for the kids room I went with a green theme mainly because it's kind of gender neutral and also because there's a lot of pink in this house and I felt like we should probably do a color that isn't pink. So now we're just adding in some stuff that I felt like was kind of a necessity. Alright that's it for this video, I'll see you guys later, bye!